everybody welcome back to my channel I'm here to show you off a another journal I made just recently finished it and uh, it's <laughs> I was just I I had to make a bee journal I saw some of these kits and I was just like oh my gosh they're so cute <laughs> so I'm going to go over and do a quick flip through on this and let's see I've got a list of things I've got to make sure I include um, this journal here is made from one of those uh, bubble wrap envelopes, similar to, let me show you, if you've never seen anybody else make one of these, like one of these, like the bubble wrap on the inside, that's what it's made from. This one came this size, so this one's a little bigger, but that's what came this size. And it is four and three quarters by six inches, covered in fabric. And I, uh, one signature, and it's sewn in, and then I covered the spine with some funky uh, trim. <laughs> it's like really old. Um, and the kits, kits, plural, that I used uh, come from Leanna Scrap on uh, Etsy. I used her Vintage Bee Kit, and then my Porch Prints, the Honey Bee Loaded Envelope Scrap Pack, and her Busy Bee. Artie Mays, the Bee Garden, Dodd Gifts for the templates for the envelopes and tags and stuff, and then Shabby Dabby Doo Dahs, the Bee's Knees. Some of them, not all of it. So it's 28 pages, one signature, like I said. And am I in screen? Yeah, there we are. So I didn't do a whole lot of embellishing. It's primarily, uh, I, I loved the paper so much that I didn't want to cover a lot of it up, but I did um, use uh, my porch prints. She has a, a kit where it's just nothing but uh, paper that looks like honeycomb and it comes in like every color imaginable and it's gorgeous. So I did add a little bit of you know, lace trim this is like crochet lace. And like I said here are some of the tags I used the, uh, from Dodd Gifts. She has really cool templates. And uh, so I used those on some of that honeycomb paper and then backed it. And I stamped that. And let's see, here's a little envelope. I love that. Oh, that is such a cute little picture. And let's see. A little journaling card on the inside. And that tucks in here. And then I made one of those fancy paper clip with the little tags. And I used tickets as the, uh, the flag and then wrapped it in a little bit of a doily. I kind of went doily crazy after I bought, I, you know, I got a big pack of doilies. <laughs> So there's some journaling area there. I decoupaged that on there because I thought that it needed a bee. <laughs> so here's a pocket with some journaling cards inside that. Again, backed. And I just love this the different colored papers and everything. They're just gorgeous. Make sure I'm still in frame here. And let's see, another journaling card. And I made the postcards into little pockets. And then it just added the little tags. And then I love these little honey, these little mason jars are so cute. So I backed those for a little more, you know, have a little more oomph to them. And made pockets for them. Again, just areas you can put pictures, I guess, there. And ah. You know, this one is a journaling card with a pocket on the front with some little tickets. Aren't they sweet? I just love this kit. Kits. <laughs> They're just so pretty. And I think every bee kit out there, I just think they can all, you know, kind of mix and match together. They just work really well. Tracing paper with a little bit of stenciling. Another pocket with a journaling card. I love this. And so, and then a little, like, bookmark, I guess you could use. That goes in there. A little more trim. I love this trim. And then I made a uh, coin pocket and covered it. So you can put 
whatever you want to down in there. And it just slips under there. It's kind of floating. I always put in the center of my signatures an envelope to hide the stitches. You know, the, the ties and everything. So, there's some more journaling cards in here. And they're backed. And then all my envelopes always have this little some kind of tab there that helps keep the envelope closed. And then you can journal on the back of that or add pictures. Another journaling card in a pocket. And then I made this a while back. This um, I showed in another video for my first journal. And it's just a little paper clip. And it says, Life is a Garden Filled with Beauty on it. And it just kind of slips in and out of there. But you can put this anywhere you want. I just happened to put it right there in front of that pocket. And here's another pocket. I Velcro closured that so you can put whatever you want down inside there and it'll keep it nice and safe. And on the back side it has a pocket with a journaling card. This is backed onto some tea stain paper. And some more tracing paper with some more stenciling. And the other mason jar. And this is just collaged on there. Let's see how I just love these papers. I didn't want to cover them up. I used them everywhere I could, even for like little journaling cards. Like if I had little snippets, I just made journaling cards out of them. Aren't they just beautiful? And here I made a, a little notepad out of some tea stained paper and some more of this beautiful papers into the pocket. More of that. And then a little corner tuck with some more journaling cards. Just little little bits and pieces. <laughs> I told my mom, I said, I'm using this music paper because there's no words on it. I said, because why do bees hum? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> anyway, onward home. So, more journaling area where you can put a picture there. Another postcard pocket. And I put some tea stain paper that I went doily crazy on. And it goes in there like so. And more of that beautiful paper. And then the, uh, <laughs> I love this library card. I love that. That is such an adorable idea. And I love the little pictures of the bees on it. In the front, I didn't wasn't quite sure how this was supposed to go together because it comes on one sheet so I was like I'll just do it this way so I put a little pocket in the front and put a little journal card in front of that and that is the back of the book and the whole thing I covered the whole thing in um Mod Podge give it a little more stability and oomph so it doesn't wear out so fast and this is beeswax covered twine. And there you have it, my bee journal. So this is gonna go up in my Etsy shop. And if you want it, you can go there and I will leave a link in the description box below. So there you go. And uh, until my next video, I sure love you bunches, bye.